Hello YouTube, welcome to the video. Uh, in this video part two, what we're going to be doing is fitting the carbon spars, joining the wing together, adding the spar across the wing, covering it in brown paper and then covering in solar film. And there's just a few little pictures here of the different stages. So let's get started. I did have some uh, video recorded with this but I had a problem with the sound so I'm having to do a voiceover with this. So don't throw away the remains of the foam box because they're very handy for uh, stopping the cores getting damaged. And this core here, this is one I've already uh, got a carbon spar in, as you can see there. Um, it isn't glued in yet. And what I use for this is a Dremel uh, with a tile attachment, which is normally used for getting grout out of tiles. Um, it works really well. So I mark where I want the uh, the channel and then use a straight edge. Keep the straight edge hard on the wing and then just run it across there. And I normally use a grinding stone. Uh, you can see there's a picture here of it. So what we do now is set the depth by placing the carbon spar on the Dremel attachment and then that gets the right depth and then it's just a matter of uh, lining it up on the wing using the straight edge and run it across and then we find that the uh, carbon spar fits really well then so that's the first one done so the next thing to do is we'll get the second uh, core done and then join them together So here's the second core and as you can see down towards the end I've knocked a piece out. You might have seen that on the first video <laughs> when I was looking at it. Uh, but that's easy enough to fix. And what I'm probably going to do with this, uh, well what I'm going to do with this is cover it in, in brown paper uh, with PVA glue. I've used this on a number of models in the past and it, it really is surprisingly strong. Um, I've used it on uh, balsa and foam uh, and uh, once you get the PVA glue on it you get a really hard surface. But this is a wing I uh, made some time ago as a test it didn't the size didn't come out quite right but I used it as a test and this foam is slightly different uh, it's the XPS foam um, and there's no spar or anything in that and that's covered in brown paper with PVA and it's uh, it's unbelievably strong uh, so it's my my, one of my favourite methods and, and the other thing about it, it's really cheap as well um, the only thing I would say is don't get some of the recycled brown parcel paper uh, I've tried it in the past and it just doesn't seem to work as well uh, so you need the stuff that's quite shiny on one side right so now we're going to uh, put the spar on the other wing and then once the wings are glued together then the uh, I'll use the same method with the Dremel and run the spar across the middle and that will give it some strength in the middle. The spars are glued in with a uh, 5 minute epoxy and I have used some of the cheaper epoxy you can get from some of the, uh, you know, the thrift shop, pound shops in the UK and that seems to work just as, just as well. And the, the Aerolons are just 8th balsa um, and I'm just showing you where they're going on here. I think we're struggling to work out which way they're going. <laughs> yeah. And all I do with them is once the wing's covered I use some 3M uh, tape and I just run a strip across the top and then three little strips across the bottom and that never came off at all on the previous wing. I'd, I'd flown that for three years and, um, and the airlines were absolutely fine, no lifting or anything. The two servos, uh, they're just 9 gram servos and they're roughly going about there. So now we're going on to covering in brown parcel paper and PVA and if you can do wallpapering you, you can do this. Uh, this bit I've done as a time lapse because it's, uh, it's quite a messy process and quite laborious so basically all I do is run, run the paper out 
and I cover the bottom first and then the top afterwards so what I do is overlap it at the bottom onto the top and then the top piece uh, gets overlapped at the, uh, the leading edge one thing to remember about this is don't do half the wing and then come back to it the next day because what you'll find is that the, the brown paper will contract and I have seen it warp wings a friend of mine uh, built a Lancaster and he used this method on it and he uh, covered the bottom and then the following day he came and covered the top and he ended up with a warp wing and it never did fly very well in fact he crashed it not long after he built it and we suspect that was part of it so all I'm doing here is marking out where it's going on the wing and trying to get some of the folds in the right places so I'm getting both the top and bottom pieces prepared because I don't want to get the bottom done and then have it let that start to dry and then getting the uh, top cut out and marked uh, so it's just a matter really of trying to get it somewhere near because uh, when the glue goes on it you will find the paper will expand slightly and so it will never line up exactly but uh, we can get somewhere near it's not too bad so now I'm doing the doing the top section and this time you can see I'm adding extra to overlap at the top and it's probably only about 10-15mm uh, that needs to be overlapped so it's just a matter of getting it cut out and then what I'll do is I'll start with the bottom first and all I use is normal, normal PVA white glue I think in the US it's called Elmer's uh, and I mix this 50-50 uh, with water so it's almost like a milky consistency and there's quite a few different ways of doing this if you search on YouTube you'll see a number of people do it slightly differently um, and I think they probably all work just as well it's just how you I have seen some people glue uh, put the glue on the wing and then spray the brown paper with uh, water and then just um, lay the paper on top but the method I use is so the method I use is I get the wing on the table and then use the PVA mix 50-50 and then just give it a covering all over uh, you need to work fairly quickly and I use a reasonably sized brush uh, make sure you've got plenty of glue uh, ready because it does take quite a lot and then we go over on the, uh, the bottom sheet and make sure you've got the shiny side on the outside so this is like the, the matte looking side and just give that a good covering all over you, you can leave it to soak in a little bit uh, I have done that in the past but I, I don't know whether it's really necessary so all I do then is then put the wing on with the marks I made, turn it over use the uh, bits of foam core remains to support it and then really this bit is just like wall piping just trying to get as many bumps out as you can when you first do this you look at it you think god that looks awful but what will happen is over if you leave it overnight when you come back in the morning you'll be amazed how well it looks so all I'm just doing here is the edges sometimes if the edges are a bit tricky I do use uh, some PVA that's not been thinned uh, but, but normally if you've enough overlap it will stick down okay and you do find some of the edges do dry out a little bit so you might need to add some more glue so I'm just trimming the edges up here ready for the uh, the top top to go on and these are actual wallpaper and scissors I'm using <laughs> so 
so as you can see now there's quite a few wrinkles in it and you might think god oh, this is going to look a mess but yeah it does turn out really well and even if you have got a few little wrinkles in it when it's really dry all you need to do then is just sand it down because that, that seems to work really well I'd run out I hadn't followed my rule here, I hadn't got enough glue ready so I had to go and mix some up fairly quickly <laughs> alright so now we're doing the top now now I've got the top piece done you might be able to just see on there I did mark right on the paper uh, top and bottom just to make sure I didn't get it mixed up and to get the right size as well and it's the same method here just line it up turn it over and then start smoothing out well on this side we've got the servo horn sticking out so we just need to make a little hole for them to clear and also for the servo wires to come through and then it's just a matter of smoothing out again and doing a wing like this is fairly straightforward uh, I have done whole planes in the past and when you've got some compound curves and that it can be a little bit tricky but um, what I've just telling you to do is just overlap it a little bit and then afterwards when it's dry go over with some really uh, f lightweight filler and that hides any edges or anything so we're just doing the leading edges now getting them stuck over I wish it was as quick as this when you was doing it <laughs> and the thing is you need, you need to make sure you allow yourself enough time to do this because uh, if you do as I said earlier, if you don't do both together, you'll probably end up with a warp wing. So I'm just trimming up some of the edges here. Right, what we need to do next is when the uh, we've got it all covered and all the edges uh, sealed up, is go over the whole wing with a uh, with the PVA thinned down. 50-50 uh, um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just getting some cling film onto the uh, remains of the wing cores just so uh, it doesn't stick because PVA sticks very well to you know white foam <laughs> we'll just go over go over the whole wing and this is when it will start wrinkling up and it will look <laughs> You'll wonder if you've made a big mistake by doing this, but you know, I can assure you when it's done, it will look really well. So, as you can see there now, it looks to be a lot of wrinkles in, but um, don't worry too much about them because nearly all of them come out. And as I said, if any don't really come out, you can just sand them down and apply some filler. So, what I'm going to do now is, is hang the wing up to dry, just trying to figure out where I'm going to hang it. Uh, so, I'm just going to hang it up there. And leave it overnight so here it is when it's been left overnight and as you can see nearly all the wrinkles are gone and there's a couple down the end there but uh, I'll just rub them down and smooth them out and the wing is now incredibly strong right so now we go on to covering in solar film I hadn't really thought of doing this to start with I was going to paint it um, but then I thought well I'll give this a go and it's actually turned out really well um, it was actually my wife's suggestion she says why don't you cover it in film instead of painting it uh, she does have some good ideas sometimes <laughs> and really the process is almost the same as covering in brown paper uh, so I just do the same method bottom first uh, so I've just done a time lapse on this because uh, there's loads of videos on YouTube saying how to cover in film but this actual film, um, I got it from Hobby King because you tend to use quite a lot of white uh, in, in model making and uh, I was getting through quite a lot so I saw this on Hobby King and it was a quite a large roll and it was, you know, the price was really good and so I, I, 
I got some in and I've been really impressed with it. So here we are. So here she is with the uh, solar film covered and I've really been quite pleased with the way it's turned out. It looks really smooth. Uh, I'm not going to leave it this colour. I'm going to add some uh, decoration to it. Because um, I think with that in the sky you, you, know, you need a little bit of contrast. Uh, I haven't fully decided what I'm going to do it in yet. Uh, the motor mount in there is um, I printed on my 3D printer. Uh, I actually found this on Thingiverse. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to it. Um, it was part of another whole piece that went onto the uh, wing, and that I did print the other piece out, but it didn't quite fit very well. So, um, but underneath the sol solar film there, there's a couple of grooves I've already cut out uh, for the motor mount to fit in. So that'll just be uh, epoxied in. Uh, and then we've got the new receiver, new motor, and it'll have a 6x4 prop on it, which the other one had, and it, it just flies absolutely brilliant there. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for part three. So in part three, we'll uh, finish the wing off, and then we'll uh, do a maiden, and see if she flies as well as the old one, which I hope she will, because the old one used to fly absolutely brilliantly. Uh, so once again, thanks, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.